Welcome back, friends. Today's topic is on inventory management in Excel sheet based on first in, first out, or FIFO principle. In YouTube, you find thousands of tutorials on inventory management in Excel, but you rarely find one with the consideration of first in, first out system of inventory management. Without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the topic. This FIFO inventory management system has total five sheets. In the inventory receipt, you have to enter the receipt details of product, received date, quantity, batch number, and expiry date. The sales report sheet will automatically update after supplying the customer's order. Based on the inventory purchase and sales data, this stock balance sheet will automatically update, which shows the available balance quantity, batch, and expiry date following the first in first out principle. This order processing sheet will automatically suggest you for which batch and expiry date product you need to supply to the customer by maintaining FIFO principle. The product list sheet has the list of products that is in warehouse or are being purchased. Let's start learning how to use this template practically. Let me add few products with multiple batches in the inventory purchase sheet. While entering the dates, make sure they are entered in correct format. For this, you can use Date Picker Calendar as I have used here. To learn how to enable such calendar in Excel, watch the video tutorial from description section. Here I have entered two products that has multiple batches having different expiry dates. Following the FIFO principle, when I get order from customer for product AB, I have to first supply this particular batch because it has the earliest expiry date. Once the order is supplied to customer, the same batch and quantity has to be deducted from the stock balance. Let me click on this stock balance sheet. And here you see, the summary of stock balance is updated batch and expiry date wise. In the inventory receipt sheet, this product AB is received twice having same batch number. And the quantities of same batch is added in one single row, which has the same batch and expiry date. When you get the order from the customer, you have to enter it in the order processing sheet to see which batch and expiry date to supply first. Let's put the details of customer name, address, order date, product name, and quantity in the order processing sheet. Here you see, the batch to be supplied with the earliest expiry date is automatically given. If I put the quantity which is not sufficient, I will get the details of batch, available quantity, and expiry dates in a message box. Here, earliest expiry dated batch of product AB has total 60 units available. Let me put the quantity of 70 units, which is greater than available quantity in earliest expiry dated batch. Look at the screen and read the message box. The batch with the earliest expiry date of May 31st, 2025 has 60 units only, which is not sufficient for entered 70 units. Below it, you can see the details of other available batch, quantity, and expiry dates. And it is suggesting you to split order across batches. Click on OK and split the order in two lines. For 60 units, the earliest expiry dated batch is assigned. In second line, put the remaining 10 units. Here you see, the next earliest batch is automatically assigned. This is exactly what the FIFO principle of inventory management is. So, from this order processing sheet, you can supply the orders based on FIFO method. Now, once the order is supplied, you have to click on this order supplied button, which will transfer the details of supplied orders to sales report sheet and the supplied batches quantities will be deducted from the stock balance sheet. Let's click on this order supplied button. This message box is given because I have missed to enter the supply date. Click on OK and enter the supply date. Click on order supplied button. Sales has been updated. Check on sales report sheet. Here you see, the supplied order details has been automatically updated in sales report. 
Look in the stock balance sheet. The same batches and quantities has been automatically deducted. The earliest expiry date of May 31st, 2025 batch no more exists in stock balance because it is fully sold out and from the second earliest expiry batch, 80 unit is remaining. So, this is how this dynamic template for FIFO-based inventory management works. If you want to try this, you can download the Excel workbook from the link provided in video description below. If you are new here in this channel, subscribe the channel for more video updates in future. Thank you so much for watching.